Hi friends, this is Lisa and you are at home with Imagine F. Um, I'm from Columbia Falls and I'm especially missing my Columbia Falls story time kids right now. Hi you guys, um, I miss you so I want to do a story time for you. So a story time that I didn't get around to yet this year is one of my favorites, socks. There's a little chaos happening in my house, my cats are running around. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna do some socks today. We're gonna do some um, songs about socks and some rhymes a little flannel board and some some store, some books. All right, so should we start with this? Since it's right here. Well, we should start with our song, huh? Should we do zoom, zoom, zoom? We always do zoom, 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 right? All right, ready? Will you do it with me, please? You know I don't like singing by myself. All right, ready? Ready, ready, ready? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb on board my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Oh, I miss all your little, your little blast offs are so fun. It's not the same without you, but we'll do our best, right? Okay, so how many pairs of socks do I have here? Will you count with me? One. I'm looking behind me. It's a little tricky. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five pairs of socks. All right. I'm gonna do a little, a little, um, a little kind of a sock story. All right. So five pairs of dirty socks on my bedroom floor. My mom washed the, what color are these ones? These ones, that's right, blue. My mom washed the blue ones and then there were, how many more? One, two, three, whoop, four. <laughs> four pairs of dirty socks and they all belong to me. My dad washed the red ones and now there are one two three three pairs of dirty socks i forget my rhyme three pairs of dirty socks what's a kid to do my sister washed the ooh, green ones now there are how many? One, two. That's right. Two pairs of dirty socks. I wear them when I run. My brother washed the. What color are these ones? They got lots of colors on them. Mainly though, they're yellow. Brother washed the yellow ones. Now there is one. One pair of dirty socks. One and only one. Whoop. I guess I'll wash that pair. This pair. The orange ones. And then there'll be none. But don't worry, because I'm going to wear more socks today. And then there'll be more tomorrow. All right, thanks for playing with me with my flannel board. I'm gonna put my socks back up because I think it looks nicer with my socks. All right, let's, can we count them again? So the thing about socks, they come in pairs. That means we're kind of counting by twos. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Ten socks, five pairs. All right, to read a story. Let's read a story. I can hear all your voices saying, Miss Lisa, just read. Just read to us. All right, this is a pretty cute book. It's pretty funny. It's called One Red Sock. Can you figure out why it's called One Red Sock? Uh-huh. Yep. Because this person, person? This purple hippo looks like she's lost her sock. And it's by Jennifer Sattler. And 
And since there's only one name, I'm going to guess she wrote the words and drew the pictures. So, here we go. Actually, we should look at the... Hang on a second. Look at that! We've got some cool end papers. Miss Anne always likes to look at the end papers. Lots of socks on there. Should we check at the end? Still lots of socks at the end of them. All right. One red sock. In a big pink chair. In a room full of dots. Sat a purple hippo wearing one red sock. Just the one. It looks funny this way. This just will not do. So she put on another sock. And this one was... Okay, I'm going to tell you a little secret about this book. There's rhymes in it. So you're, will you help me along as, as, as we go? Can you guess? Because there's going to be a color each time. Each time that we do this, there's going to be a color. And it's going to rhyme. So let's go back over that. It looks funny this way. This, will, this just will not do. So she put on another sock. And it was... What color rhymes with do? That's right. Blue! Did you guess? I bet you guessed. Blue sock? Do those match? Sometimes I don't wear matching socks. I have to be fashionable or I cannot be seen. So she put on another sock. And this one was... What rhymes with seen? Green! That's the big old word that says green. She stuck out her chin. This won't ruin my day. So she put on another sock. And this one was, what rhymes with day? What color rhymes with day? Gray! There it is. They look pretty good together. I might just wear on matching socks if I were her. This is driving me crazy. It just isn't right. So she put on another sock. And this one was, Rhymes with right. White. White sock. <sighs> Still not matching. She was losing her patience. She told herself, think. So she put on another sock. And this one was... Rhymes with think. Pink. <laughs> She's just crashed out on the floor now. She just can't handle it. Well, I hope this one works. It's the last one I've got. And she pulled out, she pulled on a sock with polka dots. Well, it's not perfect and it's definitely not red. But at least it matches my room, she said. Because <laughs> she's got spots all over her walls. That's pretty cool. She's not going to worry about me. It's okay. So she tottered off happy. Though her socks weren't a pair. And the other red sock? It had always been there. Do you see it? Can you find the other red sock? It's somewhere in here. There it is. She was sitting on it. So silly. And there she is. There's our, there's our author. She's the one who made the book. Pretty cute book. I like that one. It made me laugh. I thought you might like it. All right. What should we do next? Should we sing a song? So this one is going to involve my toes. Do you like your toes? I couldn't find this. I couldn't think of a song about socks, but this one's about toes. So... Get your toes, get your toes ready. Will you sing with me? All right. Everybody knows I love my toes. Everybody knows I love my toes. Can you do that with me? Everybody knows I love my toes. I love my shoulders, my knees, my elbows, 
and my nose. But everybody knows I love my toes. Can we do that again? Because that was really fun. All right. Everybody knows I love my toes. Everybody knows I love my toes. Everybody knows I love my toes. I love my shoulders, my knees, my elbows, and my nose. But everybody knows I love my toes. All right, thanks for singing with me. It's so much more fun when I've got other people singing with me. All right, so should we do another book? Let's do a book. I got a funny book. It's a, it's a kind of an odd book, but I kind of like it. It's called Sock Squatch, and it's by Frank W. Dormer. And it's actually, he did the, the um, words and the pictures. So he's the illustrator too. So Sock Squatch is kind of a little monster, but I promise it's not scary. It's just silly. All right, we've got lots of socks in that, in those end papers. We've got a lot of different kind of socks. All right, Sock Squatch. You see what Sock Squatch is wearing? Hmm. Flowers tremble. And tremble's a fancy word for doing this. <laughs> Trees quake. Shake with fear. Sock Squatch lumbers. Sock Squatch searches. What's he looking for, do you think? What's he looking for? He says, remember when there's a little bubble like that with a little line that goes to the person? It means they're talking. He says, got sock, foot cold. Oh, poor sock squatch. Cold foot. Hi, Wayne. That's Wayne. And sock squatch says, Got sock? No sock. Just fur. Can't help him. Here's Frank. And Sock Squatch says, Got sock? What does Frank say? Does he have socks? Kind of looks like he does. Sock? Got sock. He does. Look. He's got a sock. Ooh, check this out. He's gonna put the little sock on and he's gonna go running and whoops. Oh, too big. Crunch, it made him trip over. Can't wear long socks like that. Ah, poor sock squatch. He's crying now. Martin hears. Martin looks a little bit like a mummy. Ah, that's Sock Squatch. Martin comes and the damsel comes too. And she says, let me go. Looks like he's in the, bit, in the middle of stealing a damsel in distress. What need, says Martin. <laughs> Got a sock? No sock. Just toes. He's just got his bandages. Monsters apparently don't wear socks. Huh? I do, says the damsel. Sock? Look, that's so nice. She's going to share, she's going to give her him one of her socks. Happy Sock Squatch! You know, this is the point in the story that I start to notice something. I'm going to see if you can notice it too. I didn't show you up close. Do you see that little thread right there? See that little thread? Mm -hmm. Keep an eye on that little thread. Just say, might be important. All right. Because he's happy for now. What's happening? Mm. 
looks like Martin there is going to use the rest of Sasquatch's sock that looks like it's unraveling. Oh my goodness. So just as he gets one sock, now he's going to need another one. All right. Poor Sasquatch. All right, what else do we, what, what should we do next? So we've done our, we did our flannel board. We did a song. We've done a couple of books. Um, maybe it's, oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to show you a little sock creature. So for that, and I'm going to show you how to, I'm going to show you a little activity that you can do after story time. And I'm going to show you how to make it. But for that, I'm going to have to set up in a slightly different spot. So you have to come with me. Hey, so I changed my setup a little bit. I got a little table. Um, if you know, if we were at the library, then we would have a whole bunch of fun stuff for you to do after we finished with our stories. So I thought that I would show you how to make one of the little crafts so you can do it at home if you want to. For this one, you're definitely going to need your grown up with you. So grown ups, this is, these instructions are more for you, but be fun to watch anyway. So this is my little guy. Look at him. Isn't he cute? Um, he's like a little, some people, Tony at the library calls him a sock fish or a sock worm. <laughs> but he's like a little sock cr creature, a little, a little, little sock buddy. So um, there's all kinds of things you can do with this. Of course, he's super cute. You can just snuggle him, um, and, and 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 it could end there. Or what we do at the library. If you if you've um, ever seen me play with these, you'll remember these become kind of like little hacky sacks. So we're gonna I'll show you how to make them. But we can play some fun games with them. So let's first of all make one, and um, and then you can. We'll talk about what to do with them. So you need a sock. So um, I'm going to make a big one. So a big, oh, and here, here's my, so I, I did this with big kids too for in the after school time. And look, not content to make worms. Look what they did. How cute is that? So this is just the top of the sock turned down to make his little hat. So if you have big kids, let them loose with this activity too. They will do all kinds of cool stuff. But anyway, you need your sock, you need some rice, or beans or anything really that um, I, I grabbed this rice that we have at the library because we use it in our sensory tubs but whatever whatever you have will work lentils anything that's dried um, and you can if you're gonna do it if you're gonna make it grown up so you can just stick it in and scoop it up but with your littles you might want to do it over a big bowl because lots of rice otherwise so I'm just gonna take some handfuls fill it I got my hands are, I'm actually gonna stick this in there because it's gonna be a little less messy all right you just fill up with as much rice as you want. This is going to take me a minute. I did not, I did not bank on this. All right, maybe we'll call that thing. Rice everywhere. All right, rice everywhere. And my little sock creature would be about this big if I just fill it that much. And that's what I'm gonna do for now. But if you wanted to, you could fill them all the way up. Some some littles love to, to fill, love to scoop the rice. Then you tie it knot in the end. And there's my little sock buddy. This could become a little bit of a, <laughs> a sock weapon. Um, then we're gonna need to put some eyeballs on the front, for which I have some, um, this is where you, you gotta have the grown up. So hot glue is the best thing for this. Sometimes you can find googly eyes that have uh, that just stick on, and if you do, then that's then you don't even need the glue. But I just have the regular kind. So a little blob of hot glue. Look. And there you go. And you may be wondering, why did I sit here and make that whole thing? But I wanted to show you how quick it is. So literally that amount of time and you've got a cool little sock, cool little sock creature. Now, some of the things we do with this, these little creatures at the library is um, tossing them around. So anytime that uh, a little person is throwing something at a target, that's really good hand eye coordination. So just, just target practice is really fun. It's really cool. But if you want to make it a little bit of a learning game out of it, add some letters put um, a couple letters that that 
your little one might be working on. Maybe it's letters from their name. That's a good place to start. Um, or whatever letters that they like. Um, maybe three three different letters. You can make three different targets and you can say M. Throw it at the M. It's even better if you say throw it at the M. Mm, mm, where's the M? Mm, and you throw it at the M. Mm. Or numbers. If you're working on numbers, you could have, you could create kind of a hopscotch. Um, you, you've probably seen me do this at the library where I tape um, a hopscotch, uh, like a whole little hopscotch sequence on the library floor. But our weather is getting better, so you can chalk one out um, down outside and then different numbers or letters in there and they can throw their little sock guy at those. So there's all kinds of things that you can do with these. So make one. They're really fun. Um, and that's it. And I'm going to come back in a second and read another story. <laughs> all right. So back from our little sock creature making. Um, let's read one more story. And this one, I have to confess, it's got nothing to do with socks but it is one of my favorites. It's called Crash, Splash, and Moo. And it doesn't really go with anything. It's just really fun. I just really like it. I, I, I bet I've read it to you before. And it's by Bob Shea. He's funny too. All right. Our end papers say, do you like action? Are you a good guesser? Then get ready to play. Crash, Splash, or moo. This is the rules. How to play. Fearless daredevils perform amazing stunts and you, 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 you guess what happens. Will they crash? Will they splash? Or will they moo? Guess right and win a delicious banana. Guess all the stunts right and you win the best prize in the world. The secret prize. Da, da, da. Let's meet the team. This is Action Clam. First, Action Clam, America's favorite splashing, crashing stunt clam. And this cow, who does cow stuff. And I'm your monkey host, Mr. McMonkey. Come on, let's play. Stunt one. If Action Clam drives this speedy race car into a giant tower of blocks, what do you guess will happen? Raise your hand if you guess crash. Raise your hand if you guess splash. Raise your hand if you guess moo. All right, go ahead, raise your hand. I'll wait. You got it? Okay. Worm. Crash! Did you guess crash? Give yourself a big round of applause. I have to put that down. If you guessed, if you guessed crash, you just won your first banana. Clap, 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 clap. Yay! Stunt two. a skateboard, and a super duper mega looper. Okay, for your second banana, can you guess what amazing thing is about to happen? Raise your hand if you guess crash. Raise your hand if you guess splash. Raise your hand if you guess moo. It's probably not moo. All right, raise your hand if you think it's crash or splash or moo. You ready? Got your hand up? Moo. Did you guess moo? Give yourself a big round of applause. You win another banana. You're a really good guesser. Okay, Frankie, two bananas. Let's guess if you can, let's see if you can guess the next one. Think you can get three out of three? Stunt number three. Action clam, a cannon, and a really far away glass of water. For the next sweet treat, you eat with your feet. Wait, what? He is a monkey, after all. What do you guess is gonna happen? Clam, cannon, 
forehead. Raise your hand if you guess crash. Raise your hand if you guess splash. Raise your hand if you guess move. I'm guess <laughs> I'm guessing move like last time. He says, I don't think it's gonna be move. Alright, ready? Crash, splash, or move. Splash! Did you get splash? Alright. You know what to do. Give yourself a big round of applause. Yay! You win another banana. How many bananas is that? Three bananas? Does that make three? That's plenty to share with a banana loving pal. Hint, hint. Banana loving pal. Only one more stunt until the big one. Stunt number four. Cow, motorcycle, and ten school buses. Crash, splash, or move. Okay, smarty banana pants, what do you guess? Raise your hand if you guess crash. Raise your hand if you guess splash. Raise your hand if you guess move. Monkey says, I guess honk. Honk? Moo. Moo? I did not see that coming. Did you guess moo? Give yourself a big round of applause. Clap, 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 clap. You win yet another banana. I'll swing by next week for some banana bread. And now, a stunt so big, it has an extra special name. Stunt number five is called the big one. This is for the most secret best prize in the whole wide world. No pressure. Action clam, cow, a rocket pack, a piñata, and a vat of butterscotch pudding. Huh? <laughs> Action clam is on cow with a rocket pack. There's a piñata, you know, like the things you have at the birthday, you whack them with a stick and all the candy comes out, and a vat of butterscotch pudding, which sounds pretty good. Maybe that's the prize. Hmm. Raise your hand if you guess. Crash. Raise your hand if you guess splash. Whoosh! Raise your hand if you guess move. Raise your foot if I can have a banana. Crash, splash, and move. All three. Did you guess crash, splash, and move? Give yourself a big round of applause. Do you know what that means? That means you win the world's best prize. Hold on to your socks. There are socks in this book. Hold on to your socks because they are about to be knocked off. That's right. You win. A golden banana. That's a regular banana that I spray painted gold. Mmm. And they, here it says frenetic applause. Clap, 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 clap. Here's a big golden banana round of applause for you. Clap, 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 clap. See you next time for more stunt guessing banana style action. And off they go. Those crazy, crazy critters. All right. That's a pretty silly book, huh? And I guess there was one mention of a sock in there. So that's it. That's all I've got for you for today. But I'll be back soon. Um, and I miss you all. And I hope that you enjoyed this. And I hope that you enjoy some of the other story times that we've got going on um, on, 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 on camera, um, if not in the library. And hopefully we'll get to see each other pretty soon. You take care.